The debate over immigration is pitting state against state. California's attorney general says Florida officials arranged to have South American migrants dropped off in Sacramento, and a second group arrived today. It's the latest move as conservative and liberal leaders fight over how to handle immigration. ABC's Melissa Don reports. Officials in California say 16 migrants from Venezuela and Colombia who entered the U.S. at the Texas border were flown by private charter, first to New Mexico, then to Sacramento, before showing up on the doorsteps of the Diocese of Sacramento. The group of mostly men were allegedly convinced to board a private plane with no prior arrangement or care. Shocked community leaders are working to provide the migrants who range in age from 18 to 30 with food and free medical and legal services. And it's, uh, it's, it's just um, uh, heartbreaking that having come to the United States that they would be treated in that fashion, that they would be deceived. California's Attorney General Rob Bonta says he's investigating to see if any laws were violated. They've been, they were made promises that were never intended to be kept and were not kept. This migrant flight seems similar to the one last September that brought about 50 migrants from San Antonio, Texas to Martha's Vineyard. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis took credit for those flights, which led to a lawsuit. And Attorney General Bonta says he's seen evidence Florida may have been involved in the migrant transport to his state. We think it's the state of Florida. We think that because there's documents that were given to the migrants to sign with the name of the state of Florida on it. It's their um, it, their voluntary transportation program. It's the same program that was used in Martha's Vineyard. According to the Sacramento nonprofit assisting the migrants, the group all have pending court appearances and due to them being transported to California, there will likely be delays in their asylum process. Now, we've also reached out to the state of Florida for a response, but have not heard back. In Los Angeles, Melissa Adon, ABC News.